Welcome back. With spread of respiratory viruses very high, doctors are asking us to take preventative measures, including hand washing and vaccines. But scientists who study spread through the air are now asking us to pay attention to that as well. News specialist Mike Anderson has a look at how that spread is measured and how we can protect ourselves. Yeah, I've got an Aeronet 4 here in my home, and uh, these measure levels of carbon dioxide, and at over 800 parts per million, we're actually pretty high right now, you're sharing a pretty significant amount of the air that you breathe. And professors at Weber State and UVU have been using this to measure the air in their buildings, but there are certain things you can do to watch your own air, even without one of these. On tracks today, numbers were relatively good during off-peak hours, but inside the Centerville Target last night. It's hovering around 1,000 parts per million, enough where you may consider taking precautions. Now we know that the only important way in which we get infected is by breathing the virus in. Airborne transmission is the only thing that's important. Dr. Jose Luis Jimenez takes a hard line when it comes to indoor air quality. Through his studies, he's insistent that viruses like COVID, RSV, and the flu are passed primarily through the air we breathe. We breathe them in, and then is there... When you breathe it in, it's right there on the cells it needs to infect in your respiratory system. Dr. Jimenez is a distinguished professor at the University of Colorado in Boulder. He says viruses are typically spread more where there's talking, yelling, and singing. That's where we see tons of super spreading events in, in churches, in, in choirs, and that kind of thing, especially if, if people are wearing masks. He says studies have shown packed theaters where people are staying silent, however, not as risky. Jimenez says we can wear N95 masks or avoid high-risk areas. Everyone has to make those choices. But he says the vast majority of buildings today share a problem, similar to this grocery store or this restaurant. Ventilation levels are designed so it doesn't smell bad. That's what we're trying to avoid. But that's not enough to not get infected. You know, so so basically we need a, we need a paradigm shift that's going to take a generation or, or maybe more. And at home or at work, you might consider an air purifier or cleaner, kind of like this one. They can help uh, scrub some of the viruses out of the air, but they won't drop the carbon dioxide level that you see here. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Interesting. Mike, thank you.